Throughout designing our system for the Cyber Grand Challenge, one of our immediate concerns is how can we apply this to the real world? And the first thing that comes to mind is, you know, defending our own systems and defending the systems of those who employ us is ultimately we have a lot of events every year that compromise people's personal information and it's our efforts and CGC's and DARPA's efforts and all the teams that are competing in DARPA's event that will ultimately defend people from these attacks. We need a revolution to really get to a safer cyberspace. Otherwise, you will still keep hearing all the, the bad story. Dissect, a computer security team working out of a technology incubator in Athens, Georgia, is building a cyber reasoning system, CRISPY, to compete in the Cyber Grand Challenge Capture the Flag tournament. Our team is involved in playing capture the flag competitions in the computer security space. And for this challenge, we've set out to try and compete by designing a cyber reasoning system. A cyber reasoning system, CRS, creates its own knowledge, autonomously searching code for flaws, then writing its own intrusion detection signatures and security patches. So there are definitely two types of people that do these kinds of challenges. There's the people that do the official academic way, and they do theory. And there's the people that play the CTF, like us, that actually do it manually. We actually look at the binaries, we play the games. And for this approach, we needed both of those. And I think our team has a component for each one of those, and we put them together in a single system. And I think that we apply several skills. And beyond software engineering, we also have a lot of strength in and the reverse engineering and other tools that we need to, to compete. Whether it's rebuilding a car engine or figuring out how a computer program works, people can learn about many things simply by taking them apart and putting them back together again, sometimes with changes. That, in a nutshell, is the idea behind reverse engineering, breaking something down in order to understand it. In the Cyber Grand Challenge, automated systems will try to find the broken parts, fix or replace them, and add defenses and then put the program back together. But I think that probably one of our most important assets is just our dedication, and that there's something intangible about the addic addictiveness of CTF. And I think that the same goes for the Cyber Grand Challenge from DARPA, is that it's addictive, and you have to have an amount of dedication to apply yourself to the software engineering tasks. But in this case, it's just computer to computer. It's more of an equal playing ground. If Crispy can crunch the numbers, Dissect will take home the $2 million prize.